And there we are. We have a six ship setup, just like we talked about. Let's see uh, if statistics will win this one. Absolutely, and welcome back. First match of day four of Alliance Tournament here. We have Hydra Reloaded versus Old Intentions. Um, Hydra Reloaded and Old Intentions, of course, the top of the loser's bracket. Um, and for Hydra Reloaded, we have fielded a Hurricane, two Slepnias, three Hounds, two Manticores, a Scimitar, and a Hugan. And Old Intentions are fielding two Abaddons, two Hyperions, a Guardian, and a Damnation. Yeah, and we can see, um, we're just waiting for the countdown on local for the match to start, but... Um, we can see that Hydra Reloaded have brought themselves in uh, right as far off the beacon as they possibly can. Uh, scimitar out a little bit further out at range behind them. And um, directly below them, you can see on your screens in blue, we have the um, the old Intentions team who are all bunched up together. It looks as if they're packing a long range setup. That they are. And it's actually interesting that they're so far off because um, the Hydra Reloaded team is fielding bombers. Uh, and their bombs are not going to hit them where they're sitting right now. Typically you see the bombs launch at the start of the fight. So we'll see how they try and deal with that. Yep, straight away they're Hydra Reloaded, uh, trying to close distance um, as soon as the uh, as soon as the green light's given for the match to start. Um, huge, just a crap ton of Valkyrie 2 and Warrior 2's out as uh, these guys start to approach um, the um, old intentions team as fast as possible. We aren't seeing any bombs on the field yet. It looks like they're holding them back, but um, already chewing into that abat violently. And that abat really didn't have much of a chance, and it's already dead. Wow, down and out. I'm um, just trying to get a bit of a closer look to see uh, exactly how these guys are running. But wow, yeah, we've got um, full auto cannon fits by the look of it. It looks as if all the Matari ships that had reloaded are fielding. Are uh, all auto cannon based, uh, close range, designed just to get in under the tracking of those um, those battleships. Yeah, and the, the amount of DPS they're putting on it is just staggering. The second Abaddon already in in structure and it, it is popping now. Um, this is a whooping. Yeah, this is a serious ass whooping for um, for old intentions. I mean. Just the sheer amount of DPS these bombers are putting out is unbelievable. I mean, we have um, we have some serious target painting going on as well. Yeah, the Hydra Reloaded team using the damage, the increased damage of torpedoes um, from their uh, the bonuses from their stealth bombers to their advantage. You can see that Hyperion just melting, absolutely melting. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. The Abaddon's went down very fast. Uh, it, this second Hyperion's going to go down. I, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go out on a limb, but. Uh, I don't, and I don't like to do this this early in a match, but I'm going to call this for Hydra Reloaded. Oh, without a doubt, Hydra have got it. I mean, um, the um, the old Intentions team are packing absolutely zero anti-frig support. They have no real way of um, of dealing with these stealth bombers at all. Um, all these stealth bombers have got to do is get in close like they are doing, get under the tracking of these battleships, and that's it. They're done for. As long as you have vision, you can see at home that um, the old Intentions team is doing, as I say that, another Hyperion falls for Old Intentions. Uh, the Old Intentions team is doing absolutely nothing to the Hydra Reloaded team. Yeah, I mean, Hydra have, um, I mean, Amber Saint of, uh, of Hydra Reloaded there has like probably 5% shield damage, maybe less. Um, these Abaddons just, uh, well, the, there are no battleships left, but the Abaddons that were on the field um, just completely unable to track anything. Um, wouldn't be surprised if the mid slots on those um, those frigate hulls, uh, the stealth bombers from Hydra Reloader, were packed out with tracking disruptors and damps um, because it looked as if they just had absolutely no chance from the start. Yeah, and that damnation's at 50% armor now, dropping fast. Uh, it, it, it's not going to live, it's going to be dead in a second. And what we're going to do is, as soon as that's dead, I'm going to say uh, Hydra Reloaded wins, old intentions falls, and then we're going to kick it back to Soundwave in the studio. DPS set up, uh, Hydra Reloaded showing that they really want to be in on the live weekend and with this bid they probably are. Uh, that means they lost last weekend but collected a good amount of help points. They won today, that should put them over the barrier. Uh, we look forward to seeing Hydra re Reloaded next weekend. The next match we have at 1520 EVE is Morsis Mihi versus, versus Perihelion Alliance, so we'll be right back. <laughs> 